Welcome to the OSA Touchstone videos. In this tutorial, you will learn how to prepare a touchstone design with an Alto effect. The Alto effect combines the use of CMYK ink and elevation. The elevation is produced with duck ink. The maximum height of the elevation is 1 mm. For this video, we will focus on Adobe Photoshop. The Touchstone extension is also available for Adobe Illustrator, for Mac OS and Windows. In this tutorial we will be using millimeters. Let's open Adobe Photoshop. To access the OSA Touchstone extension, click on the Window Extensions menu. Two entries are listed, one panel is called Setup and is used to define the settings of your elevated design and to create the final PDF. The other panel is called Preview. With this panel you can render a 3D image to check your design. Before starting your design set the grey color settings to S grey. Edit. Color settings. Grey. S grey. So the grey levels are not altered by the color management. Now let's look at the design. Apart from your artwork, your design must have an extra group. A group named, Elevation. This will be your height map. Let's look at the elevation group. Elevated objects must be colored in gray levels to define their height. Black objects will be at the maximum elevation, lower gray values will be less elevated. White will not be elevated at all. Use the default gray swatches to design your elevation layer. You can use gradients to create ramps. You can also change the opacity setting of a black object to define an elevation value. A white isolation layer is printed automatically between the elevation layer and the color layer. The white layer is not printed in areas where both the color layer and the elevation layer are fully transparent. Open the Touchstone Setup panel. Select Alto. Select the group name of your elevation map. Set the maximum elevation. This value will define the height of all black objects, for alto the maximum is 1 mm. Open the Touchstone Preview panel. Click the Render Document button. A detailed 3D preview is generated. You can also use Quick Rendering and Render a Selection. If you use quick rendering you cannot use the special features to inspect your design. Click and hold the left mouse button to rotate the preview. Click and hold the right mouse button to move up and down or left and right. Use the mouse wheel to zoom in and out. In the Environment section you can simulate the media you want to use. If you select None, you only see the printed ink. You can also change the background of the 3D preview. The next settings can help you in checking your design. If you select Show Only Elevation the color information is invisible. You only see the relief. There are two highlight functions, the first one will color in green, all areas elevated. Within the given height range. If you click the button Apply to 2D Design the highlight layer is added to your design. The second highlight function is Slope Range. This function is to check the slopes in the elevated areas. Choose the minimum and maximum angle to highlight in red. Slopes between 60 and 90 degrees can show darkened edges on the side of your artwork. Check your design for steep slopes. You can see there are some issues. Click the button Apply to 2D Design. Use the highlight layer to find the areas that have too deep slopes. Select the area in the elevation layer and choose the filter Gaussian blur to change it.
render a new 3D preview to check if the issue is solved. In the right bottom in the preview screen, you see three buttons. The eye shows the elevation of your design. The middle one is the refresh button it restores the initial view. The right button allows you to show a grid. Go to the touchstone setup panel and click export to PDF. We recommend that you name your file with the design name and the elevation height. Your PDF is ready. If you want to check if your PDF is correct, open the PDF in Acrobat Pro. Go to Tools, Print Production, Output Preview. Check if Fosse spot plates are present. Your elevated design is now ready to be printed.